A judge has revoked bond for embattled Mesa County Clerk Tina Peters as another employee of her office is charged in the ongoing investigation into election violations. I'm Mackenzie O'Keefe bringing you CBS 4 News at Noon live on CBS 4 and CBS News Colorado. Peters faces 10 charges for tampering with election equipment, identity theft and misconduct in the office. Our Rick Selinger is following all of the developments in this case and Rick, this has to do with Peters traveling out of state. Well, Mackenzie, she has been free on bond, and the conditions of that permitted her to travel out of Colorado while she was a candidate for Secretary of State. But the DA told the court she lost that election and now must be treated like all criminal defendants. It claims Peters must file a motion to leave the state and must be approved by the court. Meantime, her campaign manager, Sam DeBrown, was arrested and charged with criminal impersonation and conspiracy to influence a public servant. There's little doubt that Tina Peters did travel out of state. This is a video posted on the website frankspeech.com, run by the pillow guy, Mike Lindell. It shows Peters speaking in Las Vegas on Tuesday at the Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association. The speech was earlier this week when she mentioned Sandra Brown. She's in jail. Our crooked, our crooked DA arrested her yesterday, knowing today is her birthday. She's in the Mesa County Jail right now for impersonation. So far, no update if Peters has been arrested. There is more, though. She has filed a request with the Secretary of State for a recount on her loss during the Republican primary for Secretary of State. Mackenzie? All right. Thanks so much for the update, Rick.